But it was a line drive type pass through Pushkar. So here come uh, the running Red Devils again, working it deep into the corner again. This time to McTurner, back out to Rivera, into Ransom. Ransom starts inside, pulls up back to uh, Rivera. He takes the 15-foot jumper, no good. Rebound taken by LaRoche. Tracked down by Witherspoon. He dribbles it back outside. Goes to Ransom now in the uh, point. Ransom now works on the right side to uh, uh, Witherspoon. Now to Rivera. He drives inside, dishes off in the lane. Ball is loose, and up with it is Moore for LaRoche. Hogue had a hand on it, couldn't uh, find the handle, and LaRoche gets it back with uh, 25 seconds left on the shot clock. They go to Rivera. Rivera back out now, top of the key, to McTurner. McTurner bounce pass, Moore from the side, no. Rebound, Walls, Waynesburg. Outlet pass goes to McConnell. Timmy on the run into fourth court. Top of the circle, bounce pass into the lane, kicked away. And the fast break is spoiled, but the Jackets will inbound it from the side. Interesting matchup because a guy named Jim Ransom is just about as quick as Jim McConnell. And so Tim can't blow by him, and Ransom was right on him in defense. Got the sneaker on the ball that time. And uh, for one of the uh, few times in the season, uh, Tim McConnell not the shortest guy on the floor. Ransom at 5'6", McConnell at 5'7". Okay, now we got uh, a, a stop in the action as Gene Susie's over talking to the guy running the shot clock. And uh, I think he, I don't know what he could be questioning about. They did uh, reset it to 45 seconds, which is correct on a kick ball, right? That's exactly right. Don't know what the, the problem is there, but they seem to have resolved it. And Susie uh, hands the ball over to McConnell. The Jackets go back into action, leading by two with 16-10 left to play in the first half. Waynesburg, for the first time tonight, they're working their offense. They go to Walls. Baseline pass stolen away by Ransom for LaRoche. The Ransom foul line goes to Rivera. The stop and pop is good. And a whistle on the play. And a push-off uh, by Witherspoon. So Rivera gets the two. Witherspoon picks up the personal. Jackets a win bounded. Okay, so it's tied at six, and that's the first foul of the basketball game. Either way, at 16.04 left to play in the first half. Balls and McConnell just got to peel off and bring the ball over the timeline unmolested as LaRoche sits back there in their zone, and uh, the Waynesburg Yellow Jackets go on the attack at top of the key to Walls. Now to push guard in the corner. Lobs it low post to uh, Hogue. Shot up. No good. Rebounds. Tapped outside. Tracked down by LaRoche. Pulled down by McTurner. Long pass to Witherspoon. He pulls up. Fires and hits. Witherspoon. Lafayette Witherspoon. Gives LaRoche their first lead of the night. Waynesburg quickly into four court to Walls, but he's cut off by Rivera on the baseline. Puts on the brakes. Brings it back out to McConnell. So far, the Jackets uh, being outplayed on the board. And McConnell uh, goes to Pushkar, mishandles the ball, gets it back, goes to Walls, low post again to Theron Hogue. Ball is loose. Theron gets it back. Montgomery shot up. No. Rebound Rivera for LaRoche. And they're running into fourth court. Rivera looking inside. Pulls up. Now goes into the lane. Turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound tapped outside to Waynesburg to McConnell. McConnell fast play. Pulls up. Pops. And it's in. Tim McConnell rattled the iron and then it fell through. And the Jackets have tied it. Tim is going to have an open shot every time he shoots because they all fall off looking for the assist. And Tim, uh, as far as no hand in his face that time and uh, made a nice shot from eight feet. Tied at eight with 14.45 left to go in the first half. Here's LaRoche on the attack against the Waynesburg zone. Outside to McTurner. McTurner trapped top of the key. Now brings it back, shuffles it off to Rivera and Kike will wait for the point guard, Ransom, to come out and take command. Ransom puts it in motion on the left side to Witherspoon. Back now, top of the key, Rivera, around to Ransom on the right. He pulls up, goes into the lane, more shot up short. Rebounds, tapped outside, Montgomery gets it for Waynesburg. Ahead to McConnell, here comes the jacket, fast break. McConnell to Walls, Walls pulls up, fires, it is no good, in and out. And the rebound goes to LaRoche. It didn't get the roll that time, some uh, funny spin on the ball and it rattled out. Still tied at eight as we move inside. 14 minutes left to play in the first half. LaRoche, low post to bowl. Turnaround shot. No good. Rebounds loose. Up with it is Ransom, the little guy. How about that? In there among Giants, Ransom snags the rebound, dribbles it back outside. Coach is very pleased with the quickness of the young man. He showed it right there. He just uh, outquicked everybody. Ransom has it in the corner on the left. Back outside to Witherspoon. Around the horn to McTurner. McTurner pulls up. Pops. It's good. A foul call. Three-point play possibility. And the Jackets pick up the personal foul. Let's see who was called on. We were screened out from that one, John. Good looking uh, junior or sophomore, Tony McTurner. Nice jumper there by him. He's 6-4 out of the Keysport. Shooting 55% for the floor. Darren Wallace picks up his first. 
first foul of the ball game against a Yellow Jacket. So each team now with one. And McTurner at the line with a three-point play opportunity. Misses it, but Witherspoon grabs the rebound for LaRose. They own the board here in the first uh, six minutes of play. Well, they have to call on the board man so far. Off the bench all the time. John, we've been using a young man. And there's a... Uh, Witherspoon, footer, yeah. Witherspoon puts it in from outside. Frank getting ready to tell you about Terry Clark. I sure was. He should be coming in soon. Here's a jumper Theron Ho gets for the Yellow Jackets. His first bucket of the night. And Waynesburg back within two. 12-10, LaRoche leads. Again, the Devils being rather patient on the perimeter of the zone. Now Witherspoon with a fake goes by Pushkar. Puts up a shot. No good rebound. Ho, Waynesburg. Ho, long outlet pass to Pushkar. Four court. Lobs it in the middle of the wall. Ball's knocked loose. McConnell gets it. McConnell back underneath the wall. Shot up. No good, but he's foul. Nice pass that time by McConnell. Really got it in the paint. And picking up the personal foul for the Roche will be Greg Moore. It is. Nope. Sorry. I got the wrong call. That was McDerner. That'll be the second team foul on the LaRoche. And at the line will be Walls. As Frank said in a game earlier this year, not a place for children under those baskets tonight. It's tough in there. Theron starting to make his presence known. Wall's first attempt for the strike, no good. Darren, 73% from the line thus far this year. Had a, had a mediocre night against Westminster from the line as a team in their last game on Saturday. Next one's no good. They're 0 for 2 tonight. Montgomery gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Rob Montgomery, his first of the evening, and we're tied at 12. Now that's battling there. Montgomery showed what you're supposed to do as a backliner. So with the score tied, the Jackets trap at half court. Rivera, long pass, ball breaks it. Now back out to Rivera at the point. He'll move some people around. Goes to Ransom now, and he'll put it to the floor, bring it to the top of the key. Now we're on the right side, Rivera. Checks in the lane. Nothing there. Wants uh, Witherspoon to come out. Goes to Witherspoon. Back to uh, Rivera. Rivera back to Witherspoon. Or to Ransom from the space line. Little guy puts it up. No good on the rebound. Foul called on Waynesburg. That time, I believe, they're going to catch there on for over the back. We'll see. Uh, the call being made by Ed Nye. No, it's, it's Walls again. His second. And the team second. So all the fouls on the Jackets have been on Darren Walls in the first nearly eight minutes. And uh, LaRoche bounces it to Rivera underneath McTurner, and he puts it up and in. That's a set play. They got Rivera at the foul line and sort of shoveled it underneath the McTurner, who was uh, open for just a moment, just long enough to put it up and down. And LaRoche again leads by two. Here's Pushkar for Waynesburg. Jumper foul line. No. Rebound Rivera for LaRoche. Rivera, LaRoche on the run. LaRoche into fourth court. Rivera pulls up. Go through traffic. Forces a shot. No good. Rebound Montgomery. Waynesburg. And he's fouled in back court. Good call. Gene Susi in great position that time to make the call. Rivera picking up the hack. Okay. That'll be team foul three on LaRoche. And uh, the Jackets will inbound it trailing by two in backcourt. That's more like LaRoche basketball right there, the old hatchet job right under the basket when you get your rebound. That's what they've been famous for for the last five or six years. Weinsberg now with a chance to tie once again as McConnell fakes the jumper, goes to Hope, turnaround jumper, there around. Oh, well he puts a move on in the center and just no one can test that one. That was just, he went up and no one knew. Uh, he just put a great move on in the paint. Okay, so Hogue has uh, tied the ball game at 14. And once again, LaRoche should deliberately work in the zone. Now, turnaround jumper Witherspoon for the top of the foul line. No good. Rebound, Pushkar. Head to McConnell and a foul call. Or whistle. No, traveling call on McConnell. I thought they were going to call a foul on Ransom for reaching in, but they say McConnell walked. Timmy knew it. Okay. Uh, it was good uh, defense. He thought he was going to charge into Ransom, and he took an extra step to get around him that time. Ransom uh, is quick, can get there. So it's still tied at 14, and once again, LaRoche with a chance to... Uh, Break the tie, and uh, we've uh, just gone under 11 minutes left to play. Underneath Moore, shot up and in. On the low post, the big 6'8 center uh, had his, pretty much his own way when they can get the ball to him. He has quite a height advantage, and it's again a two-point advantage for LaRoche. As Pushkar shoots from the side for Waynesburg, no good. Rebound LaRoche Rivera, cracks it down on the baseline, and bring it over to court itself. Now it goes to Ransom, and the point guard will move some people around once again. They go to Witherspoon outside on the left, fakes into the lane, out to the point to Rivera, around to the right to uh, Ransom. Back to Rivera, to Witherspoon, fakes the lob down low, top of the key, Ransom, around to Rivera in the corner once again. 
No shot there. Back to Ransom, top of the key. Now to McTurner. Into the lane to Moore. The ball's not free. Pushkar has it for Waynesburg. Ahead to McConnell. He's looking for the fast break into four court. Pulls up. Goes to Montgomery. Down the lane. Up and in. Rob Montgomery, his second bucket of the night. And another assist for Mr. Assist. Timmy McConnell. That's for sure. He should get a stainless steel dish. All right. We'll see if we can get him one. All right. Into the lane, uh, LaRoe shot up, Witherspoon, no good, rebound up and good by Greg Moore. And it's again a two-point LaRoche lead, 18-16, 9.42 left, Rudy Marisa wants timeout. 9.40 left to play in the first half, LaRoche 18, Waynesburg 16, be back in a minute. Ooh, At Furniture South, ooh, we bring it all back for you. Ooh, oh, ooh, we bring it all back for you. Bill Haley and the Comets, the Big Bopper, Elvis, and many others were trendsetters. And when it comes to fine furniture at affordable prices, Furniture South is the trendsetter in Waynesburg. Furniture South stocks America's leading popular name brands. A wide selection by Lazy Boy, Broy Hill, American Drew, Pencil... ...holding onto the boards and not allowing the jackets to fast break or really get a good solid fast break. They've had about two in the first ten minutes. So McConnell will inbound it for the Yellow Jackets. He goes to Pushkar, right back to Tim. And they're back to basketball to College Dim. McConnell fakes along the baseline to Pushkar, goes to Walls, top of the key as Clark gets set to check in. They go deep into the corner to Theron Hogue. Back to McConnell. McConnell fakes the jumper, goes to Walls. Walls draws a whistle as he fakes into the lane. We get a foul called away from the ball on Waynesburg. Okay, let's see. Uh, Montgomery with a hold, grab, push, whatever he said. Gene Susie said he did it. It was way under the basket. And uh, that's the team third, his first. Montgomery out of the ball game now as Clark has come in to take his place. First substitution of the night either way. We got 9.23 left to play in the first half. Now the Jackets trap at midcourt, and LaRoche handles it. They go to Rivera. Rivera lobs it across court to Ransom. Jumper Ransom, no. Ransom takes the jumper and hits Darren Wall. Drills one from outside. And it's back to a two-point game. Well, the uh, LaRoche zone is packing in. The Jackets have to go to the perimeter in the half-court game. Ransom, and he turns it over. A steal by McConnell. McConnell to Pushkar. Up and in. Pushkar on the money end. Another Yellow Jacket basket that resulted from a steal at midcourt by Tim McConnell. Eight. Just like Saturday. A steel dish. Okay, and again, here's... Uh, uh, down low to Witherspoon for LaRoche and a whistle. Traveling called on Witherspoon. Lafayette turns it over. So maybe the Devils might be a little rattled following that last steal. Ball game's tied at 20. Here comes Waynesburg into fourth court. It's McConnell going on the right side. Go over there, pulls up, goes top of the key to walls, around the horn to uh, uh, McConnell. Down low to Pushgar, shot up, blocked. And uh, cleanly blocked. The ball saved for about a bounds, but goes over the center court stripe. Gene yeah, Susie says, well, I don't know what to do. The other official says, I didn't see it either. The ball was knocked away under the basket. It went in back court, and Gene didn't know whether to call over and back or not, and he didn't get any help from his buddy at all, did well, he? Well, they looked over to me, John. I told him that way. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't believe it. All right. All right. That took care of that, see? <laughs> no, right. that really didn't do that, guys. Okay. <laughs> 7 50 to go. Jackets get the ball back and McConnell hits from the top of the key. 20 footer. Tim McConnell. That's a long range. A buzz bomb. Now the Jackets back on top. 22 20. And again, the half court trap. LaRoche breaks it. They go to Ransom. Back over to Mao. And he drives up and in. No. Misses the bunny. Rebounds loose. Taken by Moore. Up. No good. Rebound. Old Waynesburg. And a big push off under the basket. <laughs> by Gene Susi doing the dirty job. And uh, there is some pushing and shoving going on. The officials have to be alert. The board is the game, and uh, both teams trying to do what they can. Team foul four on LaRoche. Jackets with three, 7.25. Love to play in the first half. Here's McConnell uh, as he comes into four court, uh, picked up by Ransom, goes to Walls. Walls top of the key to push guard. Push guard to Timmy McConnell on the left. 22-footer McConnell. He hits again from way outside. Yeah, somebody said he was watching Paul Stanley tapes the other night. I don't know if he was or not. Sure, it looked like it. 24-20. <laughs> Waynesburg leads. Again, the half-court trap. Ransom bothered by McConnell at midcourt. Now goes the bounce pass to Moore. Moore in the lane, dumps it off back outside. Rivera, he shoots no good. Rebound, Clark Waynesburg. Gets it to McConnell. Tim looking for the break, not there. 
Brings it over four court. Now goes to uh, Theron Oak. Turn around. Jumper good. Theron Oak got the half dozen. Well, they had the tagger by the tail. Now the tagger has them. And Ed Stotsky wants a timeout. 6.43 left in the first half. Waynesburg 26. LaRoche 20. Be back in a minute. Now you're talking slow. Friday night's good times and stroll light. Smooth, refreshing, less filling. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking stroll, yeah. Now you're talking beer. Oh. Now you're talking good times and strolls is fucking beer. The Stroll Brewery, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Finish. That's what you get. Beer at Mario's, all natural and fresh. That's what we use. Beer at Mario's and honest. A large pizza for the price of a medium every Wednesday at Mario's Pizza in the Green Plaza. It's an 11-year tradition at Mario's, so don't miss it. A large pizza for the price of a medium every Wednesday. Mario's and Honest, for goodness, fresh pizza. And Honest, for goodness, fresh pizza. Visit Mario's Pizza in the Green Plaza, Waynesburg, and in Fairmont at 1004 Locust Avenue. For the Jackets with an eight-point run, and the big story, Frank Jim McConnor with two long ones. Yeah, and he's uh, shooting more, and ever since the Geneva game, when the coach uh, benched him for not shooting, uh, he's taking the bull by the horns and putting it up and doing very, very well. Waynesburg by six at 6.30 to go in the first half as uh, LaRoche works the outside. Ransom uh, at the point, now goes to Rivera on the right, deep in the corner, or left, that is, deep in the corner, back out to Ransom, right back to Rivera, fakes down low. Back out to Ransom. He starts inside. Pulls up. Scoop shot. No good. Rebound. Clark Waynesburg. Outlet pass. McConnell. Ahead to Walls on the break of it. And Darren Walls. Leading scorer in the ball game with eight. A three pass fast break. The outlet Clark to McConnell at the top of the circle at backcourt. He lobs a long pass to Walls. Walls with one dribble puts it up and in. It all hinges on Tim McConnell. And uh, he just can get the ball to you. Uh, all of Dime, Danny Marino. So the Jackets have run off 10 unanswered points as Rivera hits. Now breaks the ice for LaRoche with a long one from deep in the corner and is 28-22. Beautiful shot by Rivera. Nice arch, good spin on it. And uh, the LaRoche Red Devils haven't given up, believe me. No. Here's a whistle underneath as the Jackets lob it down low to Terry Clark and we get a foul call on Waynesburg. In order for Terry to get open, he pushed off and was caught by Gene Soucy with a personal foul. His first. Team fourth of the first half. So now here's LaRoche with a chance to cut the Wentzburg lead to four. See if they can score this time down the floor. And it's Rivera and Witherspoon, top of the key. Now uh, Witherspoon goes back to Rivera on the right side. Back to Witherspoon. Lafayette shoots. Air ball out of bounds. It'll be Waynesburg's ball. Lafayette Witherspoon says he was fouled as he puts up the air ball from the top of the key. The official says, didn't say it, or something to that effect. And Waynesburg moves it into four court as McConnell goes uh, into the corner to Clark. And now the low post underneath Samuels and a whistle. Foul called again on Waynesburg away from the ball. Jockeying for position this time, Samuels call. That's the same move, a push off. His first and the team fifth with 5.02 remaining in the first half of this basketball game. So again, LaRoche kick it back within four if they can score here. Less than five minutes left to play in the first half. Witherspoon and Rivera work on the outside. Now Ransom gets into the act over there on the right. Back to Rivera, top of the key. Right back to Ransom. Takes the lob down low. Goes back outside with it. Rivera looks to... Uh, there's more, more playing outside. More back to Rivera. Now the big guy moves underneath. Ransom looks for a lob to him. Can't get it. They go around the horn to Witherspoon, deep in the corner. Back out to Rivera, top of the circle. Fakes the drive inside. Goes to Moore in a high post right back to Rivera. As we got less than 10 seconds on the shot clock, Rivera puts it up from 20 feet away. Kike Rivera suddenly with a hot hand, and it's 28-24. Jackets long pass four court to Walls. Falls down, but maintains his dribble. And gets it back out to McConnell. That's an athletic move. Came up with a limp on the left ankle, too, John. Little limp. He fell and maintained his dribble. Into the lane. Clark oh. turned out. Shot blocked. But Samuels is there to follow. Great follow by Samuels. Great athletic ability. 30-24, the Jackets lead. Darren Walls appears to be okay as he moves into backcourt to get set to play defense. 
And here's LaRoche on the attack again. They load it up on the right side. And McTurner has his hands on the ball for one of the few times tonight. Now gets it back and fires. And it's no good. Rebound. Tracked down out of bounds. Ransom touched it last to be Waynesburg's ball. Coming in for the running Red Devils is number 41, Bob Lynch. Lynch is senior from Bishop Boyle High School. Was obviously a teammate of Kike Rivera there. Six three. Jack gets into forecourt with Walls to Theron Hogue in the corner. Back to McConnell. Timmy uh, goes right back to uh, Theron. He shoots to the side and hit. That's the dull double whammy as Timmy just hit one from that 22-foot area a little while ago. Went up and faked the jumper. Drew everybody out there on Hogue all alone in the baseline. McConnell hit him with a pass instead of the uh, jump shot. And Theron just pumped it in. Now here's a shot from way outside. LaRoche no good. Rebound to Waynesburg. Ahead to McConnell. On the run. Lobs at the Walls. Back into the lane to Hogue, up and in. Hey, what a fast break that time. That was tremendous. Walls behind the back, just flipped it behind him without even looking. Coming down the lane was Theron Hogue, and he put it up and in. That's what you call filling the lane. A 10-point Waynesburg lead with 2.45 left to play in the first half. LaRoche working on the outside again. It's a Witherspoon cross court to uh, Lynch. Lynch back out top of the key around to Ransom on the right side. Ransom bounce pass back outside over to Lynch again. Fakes into the lane. Back out top of the key. Witherspoon puts up the jumper. It's in and out and in. When, went in, popped out, hit the glass and then went down through. Witherspoon with six. Jackets quickly into four court walls. However, pulls up at the baseline at back pedals. We'll bring it out. They'll go to Tim McConnell. It's Chuck Collins getting ready to set in as McConnell moves it over on the right side. Goes to Theron Hogue. Back top of the key to Walls. Walls to Clark as the Jackets are in their four-man weave with Samuels in the middle. Over the zone. Defense goes McConnell. No good. Rebound. Samuels up and in. The left-hander with an offensive board and bang off the glass. Great shot. Again, a 10-point Waynesburg lead with a minute 50 left to play in the first half. Ransom walks it over the timeline, goes to Witherspoon on the right side. Now cross court back to Ransom. Ransom fouled by Terry Clark. Terry Clark pushed him, and uh, it's either called traveling or the foul, and you have to call the foul. So Rudy Brace up, working over Gene Susie a little bit for that last call. Well, and we have a minute 39 to go. It's a 10-point game. Waynesburg 36, LaRoche 26. Clark second, team second. It's one of those bumpies that you have to call because if you don't, it's a violation on the walking side, and it's not fair to penalize the young man who was kind of shoved into a traveling call, so you have to call the foul. All right, so here's LaRoche off the inbounds, going to Lynch. Now back out to Ransom, around to Rivera, deep in the corner. Back to Ransom, top of the key, over to Lynch on the left. Back outside, now they find it underneath, shot up, no good more. Rebounds tapped away, and it's tracked down in the corner by Theron Hogue. But a long pass to McConnell, was on right back by LaRoche. Stosky is up, and he's screaming for goaltending, and rightfully so, that was there. Here's Lynch from way outside for LaRoche, no good, but a foul called underneath. Going for the rebound, we get a foul on the Red Devils. There's the, and also, uh, uh, Greg Moore is screaming for the uh, goaltending. All right, Moore also picks up the personal foul. That's the uh, big fella, 6'8", senior. Yep. Now to beat his first. So we're less than a minute left to play. Waynesburg with the ball leading by 10. Uh, Collins is into the ball game now. Goes to Clark. Back out to Theron Hogue. High post to Samuels. Power move on down. Derek Samuels puts it up and in. Derek Samuels showing great speed for such a big hawk of a guy. Well, he posted the defensive man up right in the paint, right at the uh, foul line, and then uh, broke to the left around him and drove in an uncontested layup. Biggest lead of the night now. Either way, it's 12 points. Waysburg on top, 38-26. We're down to 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Shot clock turned off as the Roche will just uh, work it around near midcourt and play for that last shot. 15 seconds left to go as Ransom has it, flips it over to Lynch, right back to Ransom in the middle of the uh, court. Now over on the right side to Rivera, lobs it high post to Moore, back to Rivera, checks the clock, five seconds to go. Rivera puts it up over Chuck Collins and a foul called. If a shot goes in, but it won't count as Rivera will call for the charge going up and into and then over Chuck Collins. Tough call with the uh, two seconds remaining in the half. Rivera picks up the charge, but he put the shoulder in to clear himself. So with two seconds to go, the Jackets inbounded from the side in backcourt. Oh, five and, uh, seconds. Got a five-second violation as Collins doing the inbounding. Took too long to do it. Rudy Marisa up, kind of scratches his head. 
then shakes that head as he looks at Chuck Collins across the way. The Jackets turn it right back, and with two seconds to go, uh, they LaRoche will inbound it, and they hit the top of the backboard, and Weinsberg will get it back. My gosh, doesn't anybody want to see this at half end? Well, uh, the uh, Jackets get the ball back in the same Whoa. position. Chuck Collins, the last time, moved from a stationary spot. And, they and he that. inbounds it to Terry Clark, puts it up at the buzzer. No good. Got net on that one, but That no is time. the end of the first half, finally, with the score. Waynesburg 38, LaRoche 26. We'll be back in three minutes after we take this three-minute timeout. Uh, Rivera with the basketball around Durant's up top of the key right back to Rivera he starts inside now pulls up goes back out to the point around over on the right side to Witherspoon cross court left side Rivera fakes a shot into the lane Moore turnaround shot blocked and a foul call so it was a clean block on Moore but a foul called against uh, Waynesburg away from the ball or will they say foul to the end no they say it was a foul uh, against uh, Waynesburg, and they fouled Moore in the act, so he'll be at the line to shoot two. Greg Moore going the line. He hasn't been there tonight, and only one person's been there, and that's Tony McTurner, and he was 0 for 1. And Moore misses, so neither team has made a foul shot yet in this game. Combined, they are 0 for 4. Each team 0 for 2. Moore with the next one. No good, and the rebound goes to Walls for Waynesburg. Clears to McConnell on the side in backcourt. Break is spoiled by that move, so McGonagall will have to trot it over the timeline. The Jackets will set something up. Pushkar on the outside goes to Walls. The Jackets going into their four-man weave offense with Derek Samuels in the middle. Trying to shorten this game up a little bit, make LaRoche come out and chase him. Out they go to Theron Hogue. Hogue back to Walls near midcourt. Well, Walls. John, uh, while you're describing that, I would like to just break in and tell you a little bit about what we haven't talked about. Insufficient lack of action could come into play here. Derek Samuels into the lane, loses the ball, LaRoche up with it, and into four court it comes with Ransom to Witherspoon up and in. There's a LaRoche fast break, one of the few, I guess maybe the first they've been able to pull tonight, and they come back within 10, it's 38-28. And they got that off of steel. Samuels had the ball in the lane, lost the handle. They go right back to Derrick, and he loses it again. It's Ransom knocking it away, but it goes out of bounds. Ransom, trying to save it from going out of bounds, goes flying into the Waynesburg bench. It'll be jacket ball in mid court, in four court. So twice they've gone to Derrick Samuels in a high post. Twice he's turned it over. Uh, this time almost turning it over. That's exactly right. Derrick losing the uh, ball. McConnell push carb shot baseline. Samuels knocked away, and again it goes out of bounds off of uh, Waynesburg. Push car touches it last, and now LaRoche will inbound it from the side in backcourt with a chance to come with an eight. So turnovers have plagued the Jackets in the first minute and a half of the second half. It was 38-26 at the half. It's 38-28 now. And LaRoche goes to Rivera deep in the corner on the left side. Back out to Ransom, top of the key, right back to Rivera. 25-footer, no good. Rebound, Pushkar, Waynesburg. Ahead to McConnell on the break and a foul called as they try to uh, draw McConnell into a charge. Ransom called for blocking after the collision. Well, that time uh, Tim uh, tried to throw his body in the way of Tim McConnell. He couldn't get the charge and he wanted contact, so he got it and picked up the personal foul for Ransom, his first. Wayne, first. Waynesburg inbounds and in backcourt, still leading by 10. We've used two minutes of the second half as Walls looks on the right side, goes over the bounce pass to Hogue. Hogue, high post, Samuels again, he's stripped of the ball, and LaRoche comes up with it. Derek Samuels having an awful second half, and LaRoche throws it away as they attempt a fast break. They tried to uh, hit uh, Ransom coming in on the wing. He's a little short for that action at only 5'6". The ball went sailing over his head. Well, they're trying to uh, emulate the Waynesburg Yellow Jackets, and so far they did it once, but uh, that try was very woeful. All right, let's see if Waynesburg goes right back into the lane to Samuels. No, Walls from outside, no good off the heel. Rebound, Samuels puts it up. No, follow push guard, no. Rebound, LaRoche. Ahead to Ransom, LaRoche on the run. Ransom pulls up, pops. Blocked from behind by Pushkar, but LaRoche gets it back, and McTurner puts it up and in. Good defense by Rick Pushkar as he blocked the little stop and pop by a Ransom from behind, but McTurner was there to dump it in. And it's a 38-30 game as Walls goes into the lane, Pushkar up and in. Back door was open, Rick Pushkar slammed it shut. Six points for Rick. 
So again, the Jackets now trapping at half court. LaRoche with the long pass to break it along the baseline to Moore. Puts it up, misses the bunny, gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Well, Moore in the double figures now with 10. Action getting pretty fast and furious all of a sudden. Eric Collins dip as the Jackets tra we lead again by eight. And Tim McConnell kind of slows things down as he moves it into forecourt. Goes to push guard deep in the corner. Baseline there on Oak. Back to push guard. Right back to Hogue. Up and no good. Rebound Samuels. Loses it. Loose ball. Ransom tracks it down deep in the corner. And a whistle. Out of bounds. Called on the play. Darren Walls picks up a personal foul. Ooh. And that'll be for Darren. His third. Now that's the first uh, time you can get a little bit excited. And Darren Walls uh, pushing in to Ransom. I don't know how much longer uh, Rudy Brees is going to stay with Derek Samuels as he's just kind of glaring down Derek's way as he takes his defensive position. Derek just having an awful second half here. Rivera in the forecourt goes cross-court Ransom for LaRoche. Back to Rivera. And uh, he looks into the lane, trying to hit the big guy more, but he's tied up. Back to Ransom, right back to Rivera. Rivera with a fake uh, jumper now goes into the corner to McTurner, back out to Rivera, he's open, shoots, no good, rebound, Pushkar, ahead to McConnell, but stolen away by Ransom, Ransom to Witherspoon, the shot, no good, rebound, Walls, Waynesburg, outlet pass, McConnell, Jackets have a break, McConnell takes it into the lane, puts it up, no good, foul, whistle on the play, ball goes flying out of bounds, I don't believe we're going to get a foul on the play, but uh, no Jackets foul. will get the ball. Just a good block that time by Greg Moore came from behind and uh, reached over Tim McConnell, the 5'7", and uh, rejected it out of bounds. Jackets inbounded to Walls, into Samuels, puts it up, block, foul call. He took it to the hoop that time, and that Greg Moore couldn't reach over. He had a smash into Samuels, picking his second foul up. Samuels on the cart gives up two inches. He's supposed to be 6'6", more 6'8", but they look uh, Awfully even to me, Frank. I don't know if somebody's exaggerating or somebody's hiding in it. Well, they're probably both 6'7". Yeah. Samuels from the foul line, in and out. So we still have yet to see anybody on this basketball floor make a foul shot. Whoa. Samuels, second one. Derek breaks the ice. Finally, he puts one through. He has seven tonight. It is 41-32. Waynesburg leads 15-45 left in the basketball game. We've been on even numbers for nearly uh, 25 minutes, John. <laughs> okay, on the outside with it is uh, Ransom for LaRoche. Goes to Witherspoon from the side. Witherspoon air ball. Rebound walls. Fast break to McConnell behind the back into four court. Breaks isn't there, so he pulls up. Now goes into the baseline to Pushkar. Bar not, ball knocked away. Out of bounds, it'll be Waynesburg's ball. Pushkar right under the basket, but somebody from uh, LaRoche got a hand on it. That time, uh, the somebody was Tony McTurner, and he batted the ball, and it went flying out of bounds. Jackets inbound at top of the key to Walls. Underneath, they're on Hogue. Down the baseline, puts it up. No good foul call. And Collision. McTurner really got all of those that time. Slipping on the play, and hope he's not hurt was uh, Greg Moore. He went down the big 6'8 guy. That was on LaRoche, and again, we're going to get the Jackets at the line. This time, it's going to be Theron Hogue. Hogue, uh, probably the poorest foul shooter in the team for the Yellow Jackets at 63%. Let me double check that. Yep. 63% from the strike thus far this year. He'll be shooting two. First one, good, nothing but net. Well, the Jackets were 0 for 2 in the first half, and now they're 2 for 3 in the second half from the charity stripe. And uh, Hogue can make it an 11-point Waynesburg lead with the next one, and he does. Also, uh, they're on, give him an even dozen in the point department. It's 43-32. 15-10 left to play in the basketball game. LaRoche on the attack. It's Rivera on the outside working with Ransom. In the two guards, pitch and catch in the perimeter of the zone. Now into the lane. Ball knocked away. Up with it is McConnell. Jackets on the run. Timmy on the wing to uh, Pushkar. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be Waynesburg's ball. As look like bowling pins in there. Picking themselves up off the floor. McConnell for Waynesburg. Ransom for LaRoche. And Pushkar for Waynesburg. All sprawled out in the painted area and the ball goes flying. Ransom trying to get the charge and uh, that put him down and uh, Tim McConnell went down with him. Jackets inbounded outside the walls to Theron Hogue. Pass uh, knocked away. Loose ball. Up with it is uh, LaRoche but now they say yes out of bounds it'll be LaRoche basketball. 
I thought for a minute they were going to say that uh, LaRoche uh, putting on the uh, out-of-bounds line and it'll be Waynesburg's ball. But the Devils get it, trailing 43-32. Ransom brings it into fourth court with working with Rivera. And they pitch and catch on the perimeter once again. Look in the lane, nothing there. Ransom fakes uh, into the corner to Witherspoon, goes back to Rivera. Now to Spoon in the corner. He fires. It's short. Rebound, Hogue, Waynesburg. Tough rebound. Looks for the outlet pass. Long outlet pass to Walls. Walls takes it to the hoop, puts it up. No good. And a foul call on the rebound. And we get somebody calling the foul from midcourt. Gene Susi calling the foul from the midcourt area. Well, it's obvious Walls crashed the board that time and uh, made the correct one. Walls. Listen to this, John, his fourth. So he may uh, be lifted here with 14-19 remaining in the game. Yep, Terry Clark's up with the, the jacket coming off, and Terry will be in. Darren Balls will get a breather with four personal fouls. Still 43-32. Just uh, over 14 minutes left to play. Rivera, low post, turnaround jumper, LaRoche good by McTurner. And... Uh, Scores 43-34. Waynesburg leads with the ball. Tim McConnell into forecourt. Long pass Pushkar. Now into the corner to Derek Samuels. Back out to McConnell. Top of the key. Walls open at the foul line. Pumps it in. Darren Walls has 10. That's two yellow jackets in double digits now. And almost a steal by McConnell in backcourt off the inbound. Rivera never saw him coming until the very last minute. And saved the day for the LaRoche Red Devils. Brings it into forecourt now. And goes with a long pass to Ransom, right back to Rivera. Checks inside, nothing there. Goes baseline with her spoon. Now low post, McTurner up and in. Tony McTurner is into double digits with 10. He moves well without the ball, and that's what's getting him clear. One of the more active people without the ball, and uh, spotting him was Rivera. 45-36, Waynesburg leads. Darren Walls with the ball, down low two with their on hold, back out around the horn to Pushkar, now into the corner to Walls from the side, Walls, long shot no good, rebound, LaRoche and a foul called Waynesburg, over the back on Derek Samuel, Derek Samuel exactly right, over the back and he'll pick up his third foul, second of the uh, second half, a third for the whole game and Rob Montgomery going to check in to take care of Derek Samuels and give him a rest as Clark has come in for Walls so it's a McConnell Pushkar on the outside for the Yellow Jackets. And then the back line is Terry Clark, Rob Montgomery, and Theron Ho. Pushkar playing a guard now with Walls on the bench. And Clark moves to the back line. And the Jackets in a 2-3 zone as the Devils of the Roche attack it outside to Rivera. Looks into the lane. It's all blocked up. Goes into the corner to Witherspoon. Now to McTurner. McTurner forces one. No good, but a foul called on the play. Well, Montgomery comes in, I believe, picks up his person, personal foul. And for him, that is his second. And we're getting close to the bonus. Yep, the pace of this game has slowed down almost to a crawl now. A 12.38 left to go in the game. And at the line to shoot two is Tony McTurner, a 77% free throw shooter for uh, LaRoche, and he makes the first. He was the only one to shoot so far for LaRoche. And makes them both. He right. has an even dozen, and it's 45-38. Greg Moore came in in the second half and started it off by missing two. So the Jackets bring it into forecourt quickly, but then put on the brakes as they go to uh, Montgomery deep in the corner on the left side. Back to McConnell. Jumper, Jimmy McConnell, no good. Rebound taken by LaRoche, pulled down by Moore. And LaRoche brings it into four court with a chance to cut the lead to five at 12-10 left to play. Let's see. They go low post again, and it's up and good by McTurner. He's had a very hot last three or four minutes. McTurner all of a sudden has 14 points. Timeout, Waynesburg. 11-58 left to play in the ball game. Waynesburg 45, LaRoche 40. Be back in a minute. Microscan is on the move. Microscan Satellite Reception Systems is proud to announce the grand opening of their Uniontown store at Stewart and Main Streets. Right now, during the grand opening celebration, prices have been cut drastically at both Microscan locations. If you're in the market for a home satellite system, now's the time to buy. Don't be fooled by overpricing. You don't have to pay outrageous prices to get the best quality. Microscan is the home satellite specialist, and they're the only ones who sell and manufacture satellite systems. All Microscan systems include electronics by Drake, number one in satellite electronics. 
made in the USA. Act now. The low grand opening prices can't last forever. See Microscan today in Waynesburg at Routes 19 and 21 and now in Uniontown at Stewart and Main. Remember, at Microscan, home satellite systems are their only business and they service what they sell. Microscan is on the move. So Waynesburg has squandered a 12-point halftime lead and allowed LaRoche back in this ball game as they trail the, the, the Roche Red Devils trail now by five with 11.58 to go. And Frank, uh, uh, your analysis to, as to how that happened? Well, it's the, uh, the boards and the turnovers by uh, Samuels came in, couldn't hold on to the ball for the Jackets, and uh, the, the Red Devils turned those into points. And uh, right now, uh, it's kind of a lackadaisical game uh, for the Jackets. They've kind of relaxed and uh, taken the intensity out. So here's Pushkar for Waysburg, down low to Terry Clark, drives the baseline, shoots, blocked for the foul call. And immediately the intensity comes in. That's called taking it to the hoop. And picking up the personal foul was uh, Lafayette Witherspoon. His third, team fourth. Okay, so the Jackets with five team fouls. LaRoche with four. At the line now to shoot two is Terry Clark. For the Yellow Jackets, 78% free throw shooter, averaging just under six points a ball game off the bench for Rudy Marisa. Puts the first one through. Uh, for Terry, uh, from the charity stripe tonight, that's his first try and his first point this evening. Second one for Clark is also good. And it's 47-40. Jackets. And the Jacket free throw shooting improves tremendously, making the last five in a row. Once again, here's LaRoche on the attack on the outside. The guards, uh, Ransom and Rivera, work it around to uh, Witherspoon in the corner, back to uh, Rivera with a long cross-court pass, and again to Witherspoon down along the baseline, this time on the right side, back to Rivera. They're trying again to uh, post it up to uh, McTurner. No can do this time around, as uh, Witherspoon goes out top of the key to Ransom. Ransom back outside with a dribble. Now cross court again to Rivera. Less than 10 on the shot clock as Rivera fakes, pumps, puts it up. No good. Rebound hold, Waynesburg. Outlet pass to Pushkar. Foul called. And the play is stopped as the Jackets had a break going. But it stopped because of a foul call after the rebound under the LaRoche basket. Well, uh, Ransom uh, grabbed the arm of the possible forward pass that time. And uh, he stopped it real good. And Ransom picked up his second of, and all of his fouls have been in the second half. So both teams now with five team fouls as we tick inside. 11 left to play in the game. Weinsberg leading by seven, goes in the lane. Montgomery puts it up. Good foul call. It's the three-point play, and Rivera, I think, is the guilty party. We'll see. He just reached in. Uh, he was standing around watching it happen and reached in and popped Montgomery going by, and the uh, foul was called by Dye. Ed, I'm sorry, Ed Nye, check that, the official, and Gene Susie, the other official. And now Rob Montgomery misses. Three-point play, no good. Rebound, Clark Waynesburg, no good. Rebound, push guard, foul call. Clark will get paid, uh, get called for the push-off that time over the back. And his okay. third. It was uh, Terry, Terry Clark committing the foul, and again it was Gene Susie calling it from out near midcourt and once again we're going to get uh, LaRoche inbounding it from backcourt and the Jackets going to apply some pressure now Pushkar and uh, McConnell deep in backcourt at midcourt Terry Clark and Theron Hogue and they break it with a long pass to McTurner he drives puts it up around the rim and out rebound Clark for Waynesburg ahead to McConnell Jackets on the run Timmy in the lane to Theron Hogue underneath Pushkar good Reverse layup coming from the left, from the right to the left. Goes under and puts the spin on it. Again, it's an 11-point jacket lead as uh, they have now run off six straight points. And LaRoche uh, in trouble at 10.25 left to go, trailing 51-40 after cutting the lead to five. Here's where the Jackets are great. They can full court press you, intercept the ball, and run an organized fast break off of that. And uh, here's Rivera working on the right side, lobbing it down low to Moore. Ball knocked away by Theron Hogue out of bounds. But they spoiled the little alley-oop pass to the big 6'8 center. Theron Hogue high in the air to knock it in the seat. He is a defensive wonder. Theron Hogue. And LaRoche inbounds it outside with a long pass to Ransom. He goes to Rivera. 
on the left. Back to Ransom, right side, fakes into the lane. Now goes right side, baseline, Witherspoon. Low post to McTurner, back to Witherspoon. Looks for the turnaround, not there. Goes to McTurner from the side. He fires, no good. Rebound Montgomery, outlet pass McConnell. McConnell one-on-one -on -one layup up and in. He is just a flash of lightning. Timmy really turned it on that time. If you want to see his speed in action, there it was. Biggest lead of the night now at 13 points, 53-40. LaRoche breaks the midcourt pressure. Long pass underneath. Stolen away by Theron. Oh, ahead to McConnell. McConnell looking for the break. Goes to the foul line. Passes in the lane to Montgomery. Loses it. Clark tracks it down on the baseline. Comes back outside to uh, Theron Hogue. Now to McConnell. And they'll set it up as McConnell moves on the left side. Into the corner to Terry Clark. Clark lobs it down. Low bit of foul called. Rob Montgomery fouling LaRoche's uh, more jockeying for position. Exactly right, John. That's what happened. Uh, both of them were pushing and shoving. Rob Montgomery got cut. His third, and that's the bonus. So we're going to be uh, walking the length of the floor for a one-and-one. And, one. and the Jackets uh, with seven, LaRoche with six of the one-and-one one to be in now both ways after the next Waynesburg foul. So the pace of this game will slow considerably now. We're down to 9.18 left to play. A lot of time, and we're going to see a lot of foul shooting down the stretch. And LaRoche, the one and one, no good. Rebound, Waynesburg. Montgomery, ball stolen away in backcourt, but it goes out of bounds. McTurner trying for the steal, knocked it flying, and then tried to save it from going out of bounds. Could not do so. Walls checks back in, playing with four personal fouls as Montgomery comes out and Chuck Collins into the lineup for Waynesburg. Surprise move, bringing yeah. Walls in with nine. 15 remaining in the game. Also taking Montgomery out and replacing him with Chuck Collins. He gives up something there. Chuck has played a lot in the last 10 to 12 minutes of each ball game. So uh, not really a power lineup now for Rudy Marisa as Wall shoots from the side for Waynesburg. No good. Rebound Witherspoon. LaRoche almost knocked away, but Witherspoon gets it back. He goes coast to coast, loses his dribble in the lane. McConnell up with a loose ball, and he's fouled. Wow, Tim McConnell just causes things to happen, and Rivera standing around, reaches in again. Uh, not playing much basketball, Rivera, right now. Witherspoon coming down the lane at McConnell in front of him. Timmy forced him into almost a turnover as he lost his dribble. Then McConnell up with a loose ball gets fouled. He'll walk the other way and shoot the one and one. Rivera's there, get the ball. He uh, did not make a move for it. Tim McConnell made the dive, came up with it, and Rivera just reaching and nailed him again. His fourth personal, and uh, let's see what happened here. We have a whistle. All right, McConnell uh, having words with the official while he's standing at the foul line getting ready to shoot. Very upset about something. Well, now walks away from the action, cool, lets himself cool down, takes the ball, right? It's a one and one, that's all. He didn't, uh, who knows what happened. <laughs> It was him and the official were jawing there at the foul line. Makes the one and one. Elk can put himself into double figures with the next one. He's still jawing. Now he's uh, yelling down to Gene Susie down under the basket. The other official. Bonus is on the way, and it's no good off the heel. Rebound LaRoche. Pulled down by Witherspoon. Witherspoon to midcourt to Ransom. Ransom now will walk it into four court, go with a long pass to Lynch, who's just checked in, back to Ransom. Ransom fakes to Witherspoon, goes to Lynch. Lynch loses his dribble, but gets it back, stolen away by Collins for Waynesburg, and a foul called at midcourt. Chuck Collins intercepting the pass intended for Ransom, just like a free safety started down the floor, but was fouled. Timeout. Timeout, LaRoche, 8.36 left, Waynesburg 54, LaRoche 40, be back in a minute. The race goes to the Swiftest, and the winners go to Swift's. Swift's Athletic Shop in Carmichael's. You'll find all the brand names you want. Puma, Pony, Converse, Kangaroos, and Spotfield. Shoes for running, shoes for tennis, and for basketball. Ralph Sampson's by Puma, and Larry Bird's and Magic Johnson's by Converse. And they welcome special orders, too. Your church, club, or civic team can get a great deal on customized team uniforms at Swift's, plus hats and jackets. Need wrestling shoes or tights, exercise equipment or clothing? Swift's Athletic Shop, 104 South Market Street, Carmichael's. Open daily, 10 to 6. Saturdays till 5. Visa and MasterCard welcome. Come on into Swift's and... Be a winner. Finish. That's what you get here at Mario's. All natural and fresh. That's what we use here at Mario's. And on it, open is fresh pizza. 
A large pizza for the price of a medium every Wednesday at Mario's Pizza in the Green Plaza. It's an 11-year tradition at Mario, so don't miss it. A large pizza for the price of a medium every Wednesday. Mario, an honest, for goodness, fresh pizza. An honest, for goodness, fresh pizza. Visit Mario's Pizza in the Green Plaza, Waynesburg, and in Fairmont at 1004 Locust Avenue. As Chuck Collins goes to the line to shoot one and one, Frank Busey points out to me that LaRoche has not scored for the last three minutes and 22 seconds of this game. Jackets have run off nine unanswered points in that time. Chuck Collins at the line with a chance to make it a 10-point run. If he can put the one and one down, it's on the way and it's good. Frank? And yeah, that's for Chuck, first point tonight. Jackets made six free throws in a row, missed one. Now they're back on track. That altercation before was Tim McConnell and Ransom uh, doing a little shoving back and forth. So that's all forgotten, and here we go. All right, Collins with the bonus uh, in the air, and it's good. Tucker with two, and it's 56-40. Waynesburg leads, biggest lead of the night now. LaRoche did lead in the first half for a while, trailed at halftime by 12, then cut it to five, midway through the second half, Jackets have come back, a steal, Waynesburg, fast break, Collins up and in! And it's a goal 10 goal, and it's a good two point, he was in anyway. Yeah, it was gone down, somebody from LaRoche got it in the cylinder, but it went through anyway. So Collins on the money end of a Waynesburg fast break, set up again by a steal, and it's 58-40, Jackets uh, 18 point lead. And looking to make it more. Here's a turnaround shot. LaRoche, no good by Moore. Rebound, LaRoche, Witherspoon, no good. Rebound, Clark. Outlet pass to Collins. Collins to McConnell, back to Collins on the wing. Puts it up, blocked from behind. Rebound, hold, good. Bear Ron Hogue follows. And it's 60-40 and almost another steal by Waynesburg. Now it is stolen away. They go to McConnell at midcourt. The crowd roaring as McConnell brings it through traffic and now brings it back outside. And they'll set up a play and listen to the crowd. Well, the defense is, hold, is still holding on. The Rose still hasn't scored. Look at this, a 15-point Waynesburg run. Here's uh, McCollins with a pass underneath the Clark on the baseline. Puts it up and in. Terry Clark, a reverse layup. 62-40. Collins with an inside pass. Clark got the break on the baseline, took it under the basket, reversed it in. 7-13 left to play in this ball game. The Jackets have broken it wide open, leading now by 22. With eight minutes left to play. I checked that with uh, 7 2 All right, there's 7 2 now. But there was a five-point lead just a short while ago. I did not write that down. There's a shot, no good. Rebound, Waynesburg, Hogue. Long pass, Collins into fourth court. Collins fouled as he starts in the lane. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And the foul will be on the Roche. All right, with 11.58 to go, LaRoche had cut the lead to five. Now, with 6.51 to go, Jackets by 22. Bob Lynch, a personal foul, his first. LaRoche, uh, seven team fouls, and Waynesburg has the uh, bonus in, so both sides are one and one, but the Jackets have just knocked this game for a loop. Chuck Collins will shoot the one and one. Weinberg. Next game, by the way, Saturday afternoon on the road at Alliance. Our airtime will be 2-10 Saturday afternoon from Cambridge Springs, Pennsylvania. And improved the Lions team. Yeah. Oh, and a rough and tumble Alliance team from what I hear. Coaches are scared to death to play on because of, uh, of the way their, their style of play is real rough, rough and go get them. And uh, they've already been involved in one fight already this year. Collins makes... Uh, Makes the both, uh, the bonus and the one on one and the bonus, so it's 64-40. Jackets with a 19-point run, your unanswered points we're talking about. 19 of them, 6.38 left to play in the basketball game. LaRoche, McTurner trapped in the corner, throws, well, they say knocked out of bounds. I thought McTurner had thrown it away, but somebody from Waynesburg tipped it, and LaRoche will inbound it from the side. They do so with a bounce pass outside to uh, Ransom. And the little point guard from Perry High School. Back pedals near midcourt, now looks on the left side. No one there, brings it back over himself on the right. Has Witherspoon in the corner and goes to him over there. 
fakes the lob down low, now goes, lob post to Moore, back to Witherspoon, give and go, stolen away, Waynesburg, I had to Lee on the break, Lee to Clark, up and good. Terry Clark on the money and the assist by Lee, and it's 66-40, that's 21 unanswered points. What a run. That's, that's a run in any league you're in. Yeah. We'll just have to keep track of this. Another steal, Waynesburg. Had to Lee, and he's fouled in midcourt. Had to call that one. He didn't want to, but Gene says he had to. Ransom just reached out and grabbed Kevin Lee. His fourth. Uh, Ransom's fourth. Lee will go for a one-and-one, and, one, and the Jackets a chance to extend that uh, just a famous run, maybe the one longest run in Waynesburg college history. Could I'd like be. to see one longer than that. Uh, we'd have to call in the historians for that one. Okay, it's not over yet. Chris Mathias checks into the ball game for LaRoche. Also checking in for Waynesburg, Chris Bills and Chris Green as uh, Theron Hogue gets a rest. And I don't know who else was off. Well, the Lee makes the first, and he'll get the bonus. It's 22 points, unanswered. We'll just keep track of that. 5.45 left to play in the game. What's well, turned into a blowout. Lee makes them both 68-40. Remember, it was 45-40 with 11 58. 58 to play. And now it is 68-40. And LaRoche goes to Witherspoon from the outside. Fires no good on the rebound. Foul called. Gene Soucy spots something. And Waynesburg will draw the personal foul. Chris Spills, I think. I didn't see. Uh, Gene Soucy called it. No. Chris Green, okay. All right. Matthias will go to the line, uh, just having checked in. He's a big guy, 6'8", sophomore from Fox Chapel High School. Big brace on his right leg. And he That's makes the one-and-one. One. That breaks the ice for LaRoche. Wow. Finally, they get a point. And he'll get the bonus. Second one on the way. It is good. So, Frank, that was a what? 23-point run? Exactly right. Full-court pressure by LaRoche. Jackets break it. Bills into fourth court to Collins. Collins puts it up. It's good, but a foul called on the play. It'll be a charge or block. It's charge on Collins. No doubt. Also, no bucket. Good defensive play. No bucket, so it's still 68-42, and now LaRoche will inbound in the backcourt. 